Tonight. I feel sick. You took it, so take this. Temptation ramification. I need to spew. I'm wondering whether it's exhaustion or whether it's guilt, Amber. To be honest. Then. Come on, these guys are catching us. It's parents versus kids. Go, Katie, bring us home. In a battle at the beach. Come on, guys, come on. Who will come out on top? Finally, I get my hands on the kids. Walking into training this week, the kids were already in the gym and training. Strange. The fridge. Do tell. I finally got to open the fridge. The inside, there was junk food galore and it said temptation is back. Here we go again, temptation. You know, it's, it's the curse. But in reality, temptation is everywhere. On the outside, it is all over the place. So we had temptation this morning. <laughs> all right, you guys, get in here. <laughs> Michelle's training sessions are already really hard. I'm going into this session terrified about what she's going to do to me when she finds out I took temptation. Well, you guys walking with a swagger in your step. The kids really had impressed me in the first training session of the week. It's time for the parents to show me just what they're made of. So we've just had temptation all day. Kids oh. one side, adults the other side. I think temptation's a wonderful skill for the contestants to understand. In a real life situation, you're faced with temptation on a daily basis. So looking at it there, was anybody really going, I want some? I haven't had it. It's been weeks, a month. I picked up the sausage roll and smelled it, because I haven't smelt one for a month, and I put it back down. I can honestly look in the eyes and say I wasn't tempted by anything. I thought about the gameplay, because you've got to be above the yellow line, or it's a, it was a free pass for temptation. So above the, you get a free pass. Immunity. Immunity. So temptation's back, and immunity's up for grab first time. So who ate? No adults. Not one of you? No. All the parents looked super proud. None of them had taken temptation. Only the kids took it, and it was two kids that took it. OK, so who went for it? I went first. I took two lollies, 33 calories. Go and the other one was me. <laughs> um, yeah, I had four malt balls, and it was a totally last-minute decision, and it was 52 calories. And I won a minute. So you had 52? Yeah. And you had 33. I just feel like I let her down a little bit, like she expected more out of me, but, you know, it's too late now. How does everyone feel about this? <laughs> yeah, I I'm getting over it. Anyone who takes temptation and wins immunity from it, I can guarantee you the second you're under the yellow line, you'll get my vote. I think that's the ultimatum from yeah, that's what I'll be thinking all too. of us. The second you get under that yellow line, if you've taken temptation, we're going to put you home. Well, that's mm. part of the game, though. It's part of the competition. It's, it's just another step in the process. So you're taking it, then, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, so, not... so we all know Mark's intentions with We all this. know Mark and Chris <laughs> are cheaters. Hang on, we're not cheaters. I did take Amber taking temptation a bit personally just because I felt like she'd broken the group's trust. Grab your barbell, place it behind your back with a jump. Go, 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 go! Jump time, jump! Five, four, three. So everything we do, we do with urgency. You want to be able to talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. Amber and Todd, go for it. Five, four. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Perfect. Perfect. Knees up, Brett. Come on. Amber and Todd, come on. Three, two, one. Done. I've always said with temptation, if you play, you pay. I was just so sore and I felt so sick and it was so hot in there. I just kept looking at Todd and he was the same as me and I was like, why did we do that to ourselves? No, don't stop. Did you stop when you were in temptation? Stop and go, you know what, I'm not going to do it. No, you took it, so take this. In the training session today, it was a mixed bag. I felt that Amber was a little all over the place. She'd go hard for a moment, and then she'd slacken off again. Todd was kind of the same. And I wonder whether that's because Temptation was playing on their mind. You had all the talk going on out 
idea when we swapped the teams around, all that trash talk was going flying around the place. Yeah, we're gonna kick your ass, parents. Yeah, we're gonna take you downtown to Chinatown, parents. Prove it now! I know what those kids did in here yesterday. I want to see what you've got. Not only role models with food, but role models with exercise and attitude. That's what we're looking for. I've got some hard and fast numbers in my head. I want you guys to smoke them up. Shannon decided we would try and beat the children's times on treadmills. It's always fun. Go, honey. Up to you, mate. Go, 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 go. A little bird tells me this was the fastest that the kids ran yesterday. Exactly where you are now, Robert Girl. 12 seconds gone. 15. Head up, mate, head up. Don't look down. Good. Believe in yourself. 20 seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, time. Ooh, look out. That was equal fastest. Have you got half or more? You can push yourself just ahead of the kids. I don't know. You're wiser, yeah, smarter, and faster. Wiser, smarter, faster. All right. So, don't let us down, Rob. Go. Come on, come boys. On. Let's go. Look straight ahead. We're on the way. Good girl. Come on, you can do it. Beat the kids. Head up. Chest up. Go. Come on. Good girl. You can do it. Bragging rights. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10 to go. training you guys have been telling me you've been doing, then this should be a walk in the park. I feel sick. Michelle definitely made us pay for that temptation. Let's go, Todd. Up, up. Amber, move! And what are you doing? I need to spear. You, what are you doing right now? You're stopping. Go! Get up! If you guys can talk to me, you're not gonna spew. I know I spew when I see one. Four, three, two, done. I don't want it anymore. Too late, you've done it. Four malt balls, how is it that that makes us feel so sick? Well, I'm wondering whether it's exhaustion or whether it's guilt, Amber. To be honest. I don't feel guilty at all, Mark. I've seen you work hard in other training sessions, maybe it's guilt. It's not guilt. After the break... Right, this is the fastest treadmill we've had in this series. The parents continue to crush records. Own this treadmill, 18 k's an hour. While Michelle tears down emotional barriers. Kick it! Now that you've got that out, now we've got something to work with. I've smiled today. I've smiled today. Then later... Come on, these guys are catching us. It's parents versus kids in a gruelling surf life-saving challenge. Jump! The boat felt like it was a truck with no wheels on it. This is for Parents Rock. This is equal bragging rights on the treadmill. And remember, Richard hasn't run for two weeks with his crook back. Training the kids by themselves had brought the best out in them. No whinging, no bitching, and personal bests galore. Todd had the treadmill record. <laughs> Shannon said, do you want to go for the record? I said, what's the record? He said, 17. <laughs> 15 now, mate. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time! Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. That's the kids equal. The big question is, the big question is, can we go one more? Right, I want to see a bit of determination. Those of you that were pissed off about temptation, think about it. Kick it. Kick it. If you're worried that you're going to slip up on the outside, kick it away. Katie was playing the card of being upset with Amber in particular because they'd made some sort of a pact about not taking temptation. It's important for Katie to come clean as to why she's really upset. If you spew, that's OK. You'll be fine. Isn't that right, Katie? Yeah. There is one absolute way 
that you can stay above the yellow line. Train hard. Eat clean. Show me what you've got. Take it out, Katie. Emotions are good. Use them in your training. I know I do. This is the fastest treadmill we've had in this series of The Biggest Loser. Rich is taking it out, 18 k's an hour. Five, four, three. Come on, mate, two. You've got immunity, but let's stay above the yellow line with all the grace you wanted. Be the pure role model. No bad diet, no temptation, and own this treadmill, 18 k's an hour. 15 down, mate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, It was amazing to break the record on the treadmill. It was good bragging rights. Forgot all about the back. Back smack. <laughs> it was a good moment, actually. It's good, Katie. I pushed myself to breaking point again. I came within an inch of going home, the last elimination. I'm going to have to put in so much more effort this week. Katie? What was it that really pissed you off? What is it that scares you? Going home. I don't like to do much that involves leaving the house. I go online, I play my games. If I lock myself in my room, I can be whatever I want to be. What is it about going home that scares you? But I've still got 40, to, 40 kilos to lose. Yep. If I can at least lose half of that, it'll be more achievable at home, but I don't want to go home and crumble. There it is. That's your truth. Yeah. That's your truth. Now that you've got that out, now we've got something to work with. Yep. So what we need to now do is set up a game plan what you do in here and what you do when you get home. Yeah. That's your truth. That's what you're scared of. And that's OK. Yeah. It's OK. I've smiled today. I've smiled today. And I think that's one goal done. Yay! You guys have got to start working out why you are scared to go home, what it is that scares you back there because you got to go back there anyway. Face your fear. What's your fear of going home? Everything. Bullies, everything. I don't want to go back to where I was. I'm scared I'm going to go back home and see my room and just go straight back to old habits. Put on my TV and go straight to all the junk food that I'm sure is still in the fridge. Right. Mark? Lifestyle, couch, TV. Lifestyle, couch, PlayStation, TV. The, the, the nine to five, the going to work, coming home, going to work, coming home, the... the so falling into old falling habits. Falling into old habits, Michelle. Brett? I'm really not afraid to go home. I'm not ready to go home, but I'm not afraid of it. Good, good. That's what's going to happen for all of you. You're going to start working out what you're going to do when you go home so that those habits don't creep back into play. Thoughts, words, action. Start thinking positively. I'm not going back there. That was where I was, that's where I'm going. I think the key ingredient, particularly for the younger contestants, is to really come clean about what their fears are. Because if we can get that out on the table, then we can start to move forward and it's whilst they're here that we need to get that work done. The challenges just get harder and harder each time. We know we've got it in the bag because we've got maturity, uh, we've got the know-how.
We've pulled up at the beach and the waves are metres high. I think everyone was in panic mode. Hi everyone. Perfect weather for a day at the beach. As you know, all week you've competed in teams to prove who is the best in this competition, the parents or the kids. Today's challenge will see both teams face off in one final epic battle before weigh-in. Yeah, I was packing it. I thought that's it. I thought that's what we've got to go in today, that choppy, scary water. And it will all come down to strength, stamina and speed. In front of you are two surf boats. Pumping surf, surf boats, frighten people. Well, today, You'll be jumping in these bad boys and rowing them yourselves. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no way I was getting in that boat going out in that water. No way. Uh, I don't even think a professional would go out in that sort of water. <laughs> in front of you are two surf boats. Today, you'll be jumping in these bad boys and rowing them yourselves. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no way I was getting in that boat going out in that water. No way. You can rest easy. Today, you won't be rowing out there. <laughs> you'll be rowing on the other side of the bay, the karma side. Each team will have to choose four members to row around a series of buoys totalling two kilometres. Once you're back on shore, you'll have to drag your boat 300 metres up the beach and back. Using just one inflatable roller. The first team over the line wins. And let me tell you, you're going to want to win this one. The first team over the line will be rewarded with a luxury, low calorie, fine dining experience. Whoa. Complete with a view. A view of the losing team enduring a torturous training session devised by your three trainers. A training session with one trainer is bad enough. All three, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> now, Sher, you've been medically ruled out of today's challenge. So, to even up the teams, parents, you guys are going to have to choose one of your members to sit out of today's challenge. Mandy, are you sitting out there? Yeah, She's got four yeah, yeah. Done, That's so. all right. I definitely need R&R at the moment. I've been struggling for days with, with pains in my knees. Well, Mandy's had a... a a tough week, so um, she, she actually put her hand up and said, <laughs> if I could sit out, it'd be great. Only four people are allowed in each boat today, so Gerald and I are cheering on. We would have Amber, Mark, Todd and Katie in the surf boat. Brett would also help on the other side when they had to drag the boat. Guys, today you'll have a lifesaver from Worry Wood Surf Lifesaving Club as your sweep. Contestants, ready, set, go! The key to today's challenge was going to be unity. No, get in the boat. Get in the boat, Todd. I think we're fairly confident that the kids are going to win. We all think because we're younger and we've got more energy that we've got it in the bag. Hey. Go on, Rob. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go, Anita. We looked over as soon as the start again. Went. Well, the kids were, they were veering off course. Hey! We just had no control over the thing, and our sweep was like, what are you guys doing? Like, just get in a rhythm, and we just couldn't find a rhythm. All of a sudden, your aura would get caught, the water would drag it forward, fling it back into your face. Oh! If you were all stuck in the water, you've essentially got the brakes on for the entire boat. We were probably 50, 60 metres out from, from the beach uh, be, before the kids even really got going. In! Boys, you can see it's going fast. In! 
Come on, these guys are catching us. Oh. Oh. Sorry, guys. That was me. That was me. Come on, they're catching. Catching us. The slower you rode, the faster you would actually go. It's not a power thing, it's not a speed thing, it's just timing. <sighs> it was a very close race. At that point, we were pretty much neck and neck. Come on, don't stop now. We're well, probably three quarters to the red flag at the quarter to go, and the kids went past us. No panic, kids. They flew past us. It just goes to show you that you know, if you get your timing right, those boats move pretty quick. Don't worry, if you're over here, Mark. Keep rowing. Keep rowing. I think I nearly gave up about ten times because I could not get control of my oar. My whole body was hurting at that point. Come on, Amber. Come on, Amber. Give me Surprisingly, when we actually went round the flag, they must have had a problem because they went wider again and then we came back through the inside. Look out, kids, we're on our way. Going to the second boy. Well, very close. If you don't row the correct way, the oar just digs into the water, pushes on your chest, and you're, you're laying back with your legs up in the air, <laughs> which we all did several times. Good side in, out. In, out. We're at the second boy and we're in front. If you get any sort of lead and you really stretch it out and you give them absolutely no hope, that's when you win it. The mental win. Now, Katie, bring us home. When we actually got out of the boat and we started running up to the beach, I thought, well, the parents still have to get into shore and get out of the boat. The kids are only 60 seconds ahead of us. As soon as we hit the sand, we'll chase them down the track to the main beach for the boat pull. That's where we'll make up the time and win. When we actually got out of the boat and we started running up to the beach, I thought, well, the parents still have to get into shore and get out of the boat. We might have this if we can get to the beach and start rolling. The run from the sheltered beach over to the main surf beach is only about 200 metres. There will be two other boats waiting there for the boat pool. The first person that came over was Todd and then I see the rest of the team coming over the hill. But then I did see Robin and I'm like, oh no, the adults are coming too. I mean, the look on their face when I come hooning over that hill. They just honestly thought they were going OK. The final part of this challenge is to drag this huge boat 300 metres up the beach and then 300 metres back to the finish line. This is where we kids are going to whip the parents. Oh, Todd, where are you, mate? Make sure to balance it. Come on, 
I was a bit worried. I thought, you know, I don't know whether we've got this or not. You know, the, the kids are already ahead. We were that buggered by the time, you know, we got there. Oh, That's it. I couldn't believe how heavy that boat was. We're only just in front of the parents and we need to keep that lead because we want the satisfaction of watching them get tortured by the trainers when they lose. I would have rather rode an extra four kilometres than pull that boat 50 metres across the, the sand. Three, two, one, go! When you have a look at the parents, they could balance it where they could get the nose up, push it the entire way along, and then get the back up and push it even further, keep the momentum going. They had the higher ground. We had to come through on the water edge and go past them. And I thought if we can get in front and stay in front, psychologically we'll kill them. You don't think 600 metres is a very big distance. It feels like it's going on forever. Everyone push the tail over. We got to the halfway point of, of dragging the boat. We decided to stop and have a pit stop then. Uh, we were screaming for water. I think we were all still really pumped at that point. We all looked up and saw them at the turning point. So you thought, if we can get up, nail the turn and just go back, It'll be cat and mouse all the way until we get to the very end. Get out of the way, you loser! Unless he's told the boss, let's go on the hardest thing. We nailed the turn at the halfway point. Even though the parents are in front of the halfway point, we've still got another 300 metres to go. We can still get them. We've hit the halfway mark for the boat pull up the beach. There's 300 metres to go and we can easily beat the parents. The boat felt like it was a truck uh, with no wheels on it. It was just horrible. The closer you got to the water, the steeper it was. And then when the water washed in, it just was impossible. They are flying up behind us. I uh, didn't even see them turn the boat. We're catching the parents, so we could do it. If we kept going with that, we could win it. The parents cannot lose this challenge. We're not giving our kids the satisfaction of watching us be put through the ringer by the trainers while they stuff their little faces. <laughs> Thank you.
it really didn't come down to who won or lost. It came down to focus in the end of it and just getting it done. So finishing strongly was as much as an achievement for us as winning it. Full credit to them that they didn't stop once we crossed the line. I think it's, it's really good for the parents to get a win. Shows us they've got plenty of life in them. Bring on the delicious dinner while we watch the kids suffer. Well, contestants, you were neck and neck the whole way, but in the end, victory belonged to the parents. Yeah. Well done. Great job. Parents, today you prove you not only rock, but you rule this competition. Great yeah. effort. While it lasts, we'll enjoy this victory, because who knows what's happening next week. Richard, what do you put your wind down to? Oh, just determination, teamwork, knowledge. How does it feel to beat your daughter, Amber? Oh, she looks a bit dirty. Yeah, she's a bit dirty. <laughs> Feels real good. They should have let us win. The parents are never, ever going to let us live this down. It'll get whipped out at 21st and 40th, you know. I remember when you lost that surf boat race. Well, parents, along with bragging rights, you've also scored yourselves a night of luxury. You'll all be heading back to the house for a low-calorie, fine dining experience. Yeah! <laughs> Unfortunately, kids, you won't be so lucky. I'm sorry. <laughs> While your parents are enjoying a delicious meal, they'll be watching you suffer in a training session from hell. Looking forward to a spew. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you at the weigh-in where you'll once again join into your teams of two, so good luck. I'm trying to look at this training session as positive, but when Hayley says we're doing a training session from hell, you can't really be too positive about it. Poor little Good luck. things. Sorry about it. Well, 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 look what we've got here. The kids that were going to bring it all that <laughs> have been whooped by their parents. Looks like these guys are going to the ultimate reward in having a fabulous dinner tonight. You guys are going to get the ultimate nightmare training session. It was actually like a mob execution. You had all the bosses sitting up at their table, and then you had the three executioners, and then you had all of us sort of shuffling in going, well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, and parents, by the way, cut the apron strings tonight. <laughs> They're all yours. They're cut. <laughs> Kill them. It's just rewards for your efforts today. Please feel free to chime in with any special requests <laughs> for your kids at any time. Tonight, all three of us are going to train you. But unfortunately, Mark can't be with us due to the knee injury he suffered in the challenge. This is going to be a tough training session. Probably your toughest yet. Look at their faces. Come on, you guys. You're a sick person. <laughs> All right, kids, let's get stuck into it. Hit the mud. Let's go with me. We get a surprise dinner. The best thing about it is we get to eat it right in front of where the kids get smashed by the three trainers. Start crawling up and down the sideline. Go. Let's get stuck into it. Go. On the mud. Get down, you got a sore bum, not a sore gut. Get down and start crawling in the corner along that line. There. No, down. I don't want you to hurt your hamstring. Down like that. Mud is gross. That's all right, you just keep going up and down. Bet... Pass the bronze, please. Ready, set, go. go. Push, push, push. Drop. Drop. Drop down. Drop on your gut. Bring that gut. Go. Push, Katie. Go. Drop. Down. Up. I love mud. Go, Todd, ready? Go. Drop. Good. Down on your guts, all the way down. Good. On your guts, Amber. Like that. On your guts. Don't walk around. Go. On your guts. Good. OK, get up. 
think a couple of parents were really enjoying their kids <laughs> suffering a little bit, you know. So, uh, how's dinner? Absolutely beautiful. We heard this was your out of your recipe book. It is it's out marvelous. of my it's out of my cookbooks. And not cooked by us, so it's actually edible. <laughs> All their dishes are out of Michelle's cookbooks, and we know she's not gonna let us eat anything we shouldn't. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying yourselves while your children are in a, are in a world of pain. <laughs> Anyone did want seconds, you'd have hope because Richard got there first and he was certainly <laughs> like he had immunity, yeah. I think I might have went just over a little bit. <laughs> Parents! Yes, gentlemen. Any special requests while we've got the pads and stuff out? Can they roll across or something? No, no, roll back. Rolling? Ready? OK, rolling. all three, roll across. Courtesy of Richard, all three roll. <laughs> Courtesy of Richard. <laughs> I think all the parents, especially Richard, were enjoying watching us suffer. Pick it up! Pick it up! All right, you guys, all of you, grab yourself one log each. The training session for these kids is an all-time favourite of mine. At all night, right. in the dark, Four. in the mud. Go, hands to ground, body strong, abs in. There's body definitely nowhere to hide when there's only five contestants in the mud pit five. and three trainers that are watching you very, very closely. Get on your guts! Come on, Anne. Burpees, up! Don't let him Jump. beat you. Pipe your hands above your head. Up. Wait, together, down on the ground. That was one. Oh, it wasn't. Up! Oh, I thought I'd bring back the commando of old. Time for a bit of yelling, screaming, and faces in the mud. Up! Wait! Too slow, five burpees, down! What do you not compute about the push-up position? I love Commander. I, I love the way he does. You know, he, he'll just beat you down, and he'll be the first here to pick you up. Oh. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Let's Ten. Eleven. Good For Amber to get up there and do what she did, and the rest of the kids. All power tool. Parents, last requests. Yeah, hose them down. Hose them down, yeah. Watch your arm. Fish. Parents vs Kids Week, we were panicking, but we didn't tell them that. But uh, no, we've really enjoyed it. I mean, all the parents enjoyed it. All power to all.